Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, as you can tell, I'm going to be doing a huge luxury haul. This is, I believe, my third time doing a video like this. I have two other videos like this that I will have linked below if you guys want to check them out. But I did originally do a day in my life spending $35,000. I just did that last week. I'll have that linked below as well. But I ended up spending more than that because after that day, I went online and I started ordering more stuff. So I'm honestly not sure how much stuff I ordered, but I will definitely leave the prices of everything on the screen somewhere or in the description box below so you guys know how much everything was. I'll add everything up at the end and then it will obviously be in the title. But if you guys want to see my huge luxury unboxing haul, then keep watching. Okay, you guys, I don't even know where to start. Um, I'm just going to start with the Chanel because that's probably like my favorite store. And I don't even remember everything that I got. So we'll start with this a huge freaking Chanel bag. Let's see what I got. There was so many purses that I wanted from Chanel, but they didn't have a lot of them in stock or like in season. And then I kept seeing like, do they have a waiting list or was I able to order them? And they said that they didn't have any. So I wasn't able to get like a lot of the bags that I wanted from Chanel. I really want a pink Chanel bag, like a classic one and like a denim one, but I wasn't able to get it. But this is the first purse that I got from Chanel. This is the box. I'm just going to open it. This is what it looks like when you open it. Oh, and then it has another little piece of tape. Oh my god, it is so freaking cute. I love how the Chanel dust bags look. I like this little look to it. And it is like this. It is the classic Chanel bag in this like nude tan color. I already have this purse in black, but I really wanted it in other colors. So I'm just going to take the tape off. But it has like the silver hardware. It opens up like this. And then they just have like some paper, I guess, to protect it. Okay, I just took all the packaging off of it, so this is what it looks like, just the classic like tan Chanel bag. I will open it up and show you guys. I did get the silver hardware. You open it up and the flap looks like this. It just has the Chanel sign right here. Back here, there is a little zipper, and then there's like a little place for stuff back here, and then like a little pocket here and then here as well. Like I said, I do already have this bag in black and I'm obsessed with it and I always wear it. So I know I'm going to wear this one so much. And then it has like the little pocket back here as well. This is what it looks like. I'm going to show you guys. You could wear it long like this. Super cute. Or you can wear it as like a shoulder bag and just have it be like this. This is probably how I'm going to wear it because I usually wear my black one like that. But this is so freaking cute. It does have the price tag on it still. And it was $8,800. I don't know if you guys can see the price if it's like zooming in. But it is right there. $8,800 for the classic Chanel bag. Okay, you guys. The next thing that I have in this huge Chanel bag are these little sunglasses. So I did get some Chanel sunglasses and all the Chanel like packaging always has this cute little like flowers on them. And every single video I always put them in my hair. So period. Throw back to the last two videos. But it's just packed up like this. Super cute. You just open it up. I am obsessed with these sunglasses. I feel like I always get designer sunglasses and then like I never end up wearing them. But I know I'm for sure going to end up keeping these and wearing them. Oh, you guys, look at the little sunglasses case with the little Chanel sign in the corner. And it's like this really soft material. This is so freaking cute. And it's like magnetic. So it just opens up like that. And then the sunglasses are in here. They are so freaking cute. Wait a minute. These are not the Chanel sunglasses I freaking bought, bro. I'm actually really upset about that because I do not live close to the Chanel store. I have to go all the way to the city just to return them or get like exchange them for the ones I actually wanted. The sunglasses were $600 after taxes. They were $661, but they're not even 
the sunglasses that I wanted. So I'm going to have to go tomorrow and exchange them for the actual ones I wanted. And hopefully they even have them because that's so annoying that these are not the glasses that I freaking bought. I guess, I don't know how the guy literally messed it up from me handing it to him. Alright, I'm just really mad right now about that. But let's just move on. Let's move on to this Fendi box. So it looks like this. These are one of the things that I ended up having to order online because I tried it on in the store and they didn't have my size. I'm so excited to show you guys. It is packed like this when you open it. One huge dust bag. And then... You guys, look at these boots. They are so freaking cute. They're really cute on. I'll have to insert like a little video. But these are obviously going to be like for the winter and it's about to be like summer. So I'm not going to wear them this season. But these are going to be so freaking cute with like leggings or like a little puffer jacket and some leggings. Maybe I can get like a Fendi like puffer coat and then wear it together. I don't know. But they are so cute. They look like this. They say Fendi in the back of them like that and then it's just the Fendi logo all over it and then it has like this little like drawstring thing in the front so that you can tighten it once you have them on but they are super cute little winter boots next let's open what's in this Gucci bag so I got some shoes from the Gucci store you guys, I'm still so blue about those sunglasses. I can't believe they gave me the wrong sunglasses. I'm, like, very upset about it still. But this is what my Gucci box looks like. I'm going to try to not be mad. But I just can't believe they did that to me. And then, oh, they have them inside of the dust bags. So these are what the dust bags look like. Let me take it out and show you guys. So I got these Gucci sneakers. They are super cute. So on the bottom, they're like this navy blue kind of color. And then like the bottom part is pink. And then it just has like the Gucci sign and this white. And then like this cream with the pink. I really like the pink. It's so freaking cute. And these shoes are so freaking comfortable. So I only like getting designer shoes when they're like really, really comfortable. Because I hate being uncomfortable. And the inside of these are just so so comfortable like they're really really comfortable to walk in so that's why i like them but they are super cute i'll show you guys the other one also it's just the same thing but i'll show both yeah this is what they look like and then on the inside they just say gucci so nothing crazy they look like this Since we're on the Gucci right now, I did get another pair of Gucci shoes, which are these right here. These are just the little Gucci sandals. I feel like everybody has these. I'm like super late to the party, but these are like the little Gucci flip flops that like everybody has. And I'm just like, let me hop on the bandwagon and get them also. But they're just packed like this. So they look like this. I know you guys have probably all seen these like basic Gucci slides before, but they are super cute and I feel like you can just wear them anywhere. Good for the summer, vacation, around the house, just going out really quick, running errands, whatever. They are really, really cute. They look like this, you guys. Super freaking cute. Once I get my other toes shortened, they're going to be even cuter. My little pedicures, but I am obsessed with these. I love the little design with the flowers and just the Gucci sign. And yeah, super basic. Okay, you guys, I had to take a little break because the camera died, but the battery is fully charged. So now we're back in business. So now I am going to start with all the things that I got from the Balenciaga store. So this is the first box. It looks like this. I love how they tied it with the little ribbon. It is so freaking cute. All these stores be having like the cutest little ribbons. And then when you open it up, it just looks like this. Just some paper, you know, how they always be having the papers. This is the dust bag. Okay, so these must be the shoes. Um, it looks like a little like drawstring bag. Remember how people used to have these like in high school? Like for like gym class. But it looks like that. It's just a little dust bag for the sneakers. Ah, I am obsessed. Yes, you guys, these are so freaking cute. 
because pink is my favorite color of all time and I'm obsessed with these style of Balenciagas. I have them in black, I have them in like tan. So I'm obsessed because these are just so freaking comfortable. You can literally just throw them on with everything. Um, I wear leggings like every day of my life. So these with just like black leggings and a sweater is so freaking cute. But they're literally just all pink everywhere. And they're like this light, like baby pink. I love it. I usually just have the ones that say like Balenciaga right on the corner. So I like that this one says Balenciaga everywhere, like in the white letters, like all over the shoe. Super freaking cute. I feel like if you've always wanted a designer shoe and you're not sure which ones to get, I would definitely just recommend getting like the basic Balenciaga shoes like these because they're super comfortable and they literally go with everything, like I said. But I'm obsessed. I already know I'm going to be rocking these all freaking summer and like spring. I love like the little pastel, like light colors like this. I kind of got a lot of things from Balenciaga this time. I've been like really liking Balenciaga. I feel like Chanel and like Balenciaga are like my two favorite designers right now. So this box is also from Balenciaga. Okay, we got the next Balenciaga box. I'm so excited. Oh, little papers fell out. But you guys, okay. The little dust bag. Oh my god, I already see it. I'm gagging. It is so freaking cute, you guys. This is the Balenciaga Hourglass bag in the size small. They do have like the tiny ones, then they have the extra small, and then they have the small. Um, I think they might have one size bigger than this, but this is like a pretty perfect size. Look at this. Let me take off all like this wrapping stuff so you can really appreciate it. Okay, you guys, I took off all, like, the wrapping. How freaking cute is this purse? And it's going to be so cute with those little Balenciaga sneakers I just showed because they're both pink. It has, like, a little pocket here in the back. Um, I do sometimes put my phone in these little pockets, so that's what they're useful for. Or, like, I'll just slip, like, cards back there because they're just, like, these little pockets. And then it's just, like, this hourglass shape. So it can either be held, like, by the handle like this or you can wear it like this. Or you can even wear it crossbody like this. And it is adjustable, like right here, so you can adjust it to your size. I am freaking obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with this bag. I love it so much. And then the little B, it does have like silver hardware. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside. So you open it, it's just like this, it's magnetic here. And then on the inside, it's like this. It does fit like a pretty decent amount of stuff. Like it's pretty big. Like I can tell that I'm gonna be able to fit my phone, my wallet, my keys, all that. And then there's just one little zipper pocket in there. So this is super freaking cute, you guys. How cute is this? Since we are on the Balenciaga stuff right now, I do wanna open two other purses that I got from Neiman Marcus, but I got them from the Balenciaga section in Neiman Marcus. So I just wanna show you since we can like get all the um, Balenciaga stuff out of the way. So I actually did already open this purse and I did post it on my Instagram already. I was trying so hard not to open anything until I did the haul to show you guys, but I was like, oh, I just have to open at least one thing. Cause I was like itching to open something. But this is another purse that I got. It is also a Balenciaga bag. This is the extra small Balenciaga hourglass bag. So I will show you guys the size difference. This is the small and this is the extra small. So you can see there's a noticeable size difference. Um, this one's better if you just want to take like a few things with you. And then if you're obviously going to have a little more things, you would get the bigger one. But they are both still so freaking cute. And I'm usually not into small bags, but I feel like this one still does honestly fit a lot of stuff. And I feel like the extra small sometimes comes in more color options. But this is the size difference. So it pretty much just looks like the extra small one. It also does come with a strap. The strap is inside. So it looks the same. It just has the magnet. It looks like this on the inside. And then the back, it has the little pouch. I will put the purse on for you guys as well. So it's the same thing. You can either wear strap body like this, or you can just hold it, or however you want to wear it. You can wear it like that. You know, it's really up to your discretion. But this is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed with this bag that I actually got three of them. So I got the pink one, the silver one, and then I also got it in gold. So let me show you guys that one. 
So in the gold one, it does look like this. Oh, I still have to take the stuff off. Let me take all this off. Okay, so this is what the gold one looks like after I took everything off of it. It is so freaking cute. It's the same as the silver one, just in gold. Has a little pocket in the back. The little B for Balenciaga. Everything is gold, including the hardware. And then the inside just looks like this. It is so freaking cute. So I am obsessed with all of these bags, you guys. Um, I think that the price difference from like the extra small and the small isn't that big. I think it's just like a few hundred dollar difference. But you guys, what? These colors are everything. Like, come on. I don't need any more of these purses because I have the three best colors. They're so cute, I love them. Okay, moving on, the next thing I got is actually a little YSL um, wallet. So it's like a card holder. The reason that I got this is because I only own one wallet, which is like this pink Louis Vuitton wallet, and I'm obsessed with it. I always use it, it's the only wallet that I own. But since I got like the little tiny Balenciaga hourglass bags, my wallet is too big to fit in it, so I needed to get a new wallet to fit inside of the little bag. So I just got like a really simple, cute YSL card holder. It looks like this. It's really cute and simple. I don't know if you guys can see the logo. It says YSL, but it's just black on black. It is super cute. I am obsessed with it just to put my cards. And then when I do use the smaller bag, I'm going to show you guys. When I take like one of these smaller bags out and I don't want to fit my big wallet in there, I can just put a few of the cards that I need and then just have my wallet like fit in there perfectly you probably can't see it because it's black on black but it fits in there perfectly and then i can just have like my phone and my keys and like a chapstick or something but yeah that's why i got this little car holder and it's super freaking cute okay you guys and now moving on to some jewelry we got some cartier this is the first thing i've ever owned from cartier in my entire life so i'm really happy because last year when i did this video i bought my very first ever rolex so now i bought my first ever cartier bracelet i kind of bought them to go together because i always see like on instagram and stuff people have like the cartier love bracelets patched i mean paired with a wallet i mean a wallet paired with a watch so it looks really cute to have like your watch and then like the bracelet above it so that's kind of the vibe i was going for i did get the love bracelet in like the small size and I'm really not that big on jewelry, but the fact that it, like, locks on, I feel like I'm always going to keep it on. Ooh, how do you... Oh, it just kind of opens up. <gasps> oh, my... Wait, did I do it wrong? Or it's supposed to be like this. I honestly... I honestly don't know. But this is what it looks like. I'm going to take it off of here right now and put it on. And then it comes with this little tool. This is how you take on and off the bracelet and then it also comes with this little bag that says cartier and you can kind of just like put the tool in there that's where it was i was like thinking they didn't give me a tool because i think it was supposed to be like right here but it was inside of this bag and i was like damn did they do me bogus again like the chanel store did with my sunglasses i was gonna get the ring to match it you know like the little love ring but I did not like how it looked on me for some reason since I'm not like so big on jewelry. I don't really wear like earrings all the time, bracelets, like necklaces, all that. So I did just want to do like something simple because I didn't want to get too much and then not end up wearing it. But I feel like the bracelet, since it locks on, I'll always wear it. This is what it looks like, you guys. I don't know how well you can see it, how well it's focusing. But it just looks like this. The love bracelet from Cartier, the skinny one. So I'm going to open it and try it on. Okay, so it unlocks like this. And then you just put it on. I don't know if it matters how you do it. But then you just close it. And then you have to lock it. Okay, I figured it out. This is what it looks like. How it looks on. I don't know how well it's focusing. But it is really cute. I'm probably just going to leave it on now that it's on. And just live my life with it. You know how like when you get like a nameplate or something when you're little. Or like the little like gold bracelets with your name on them. And you just leave them on forever. So I feel like that's what I'm going to do with this one. Since it locks on just keep it on. But I actually do want to go get my Rolex really quick. And just see how it looks. Um, I'm not always going to wear my Rolex. I usually only wear that like when I'm going out or like doing something. But I will keep this bracelet on like 24-7 probably all the time. And then when I'm going somewhere special just add the Rolex with it. But I want to go see how it looks with the Rolex. So I'm going to go grab it really quick. 
Oh my god, you guys, it looks so freaking cute with the Rolex. This is exactly how I envisioned it in my head. So this is the Rolex that I got last year when I did like my huge shopping haul. And then this is the Cartier bracelet that I just got for this time. And it looks so cute together. I always see them, like I said, on Instagram. Such like a bandwagon person. <laughs> I'm such a little follower just getting it because I saw it on Instagram, but it does look so freaking cute. Like I said, I don't wear this watch all the time, but like on occasions, it'll be super cute just to have it. Like if I'm going out to like dinner or just want to be like fancy for the night. So I feel like it does look super freaking cute together. Majority of the time, I will just only have just the Cartier bracelet on and not like the watch because I don't really like wearing it all the time. But I guess for the video, I'll just keep them both on so I can look cool. But yes, it looks so cool with the little bracelet. I love it so much. But let's continue. Next, let's see what we got from the Prada store. I got some more pink stuff. I'm super excited. I guess I'll just start with this one. So this box, it looks like this. You just open it up. I am obsessed with these. They're so freaking cute. It was so hard for me to not wear these, like, waiting to do the video. Because, like, I'm always just lounging around the house. And these little chanclas are so freaking cute, you guys. They look like this on the bottom. And then they're just furry and pink and so freaking adorable and soft. And they say Prada on them. So these are definitely not going to leave the house. I'm, like, always wearing my chanclas outside of the house and ruining them. So I'm promising myself that these are just going to stay cute in my house for when I'm just lounging around and have them really cute sitting in my glam room. And yeah, I love them so much. They're really, really soft and comfy and I'm so excited to wear them. Super cute. And I actually did get a purse to match them. So actually maybe I will wear them out of the house just so I can wear like black leggings, these and like a black sweater with the Prada bag. But it looks like this. It's just tied with a little bow. And it literally just matches the shoes perfectly. That's why I got it. One, because pink is my favorite color and I'm obsessed. And two, because it matched. And this is what the little dust bag looks like. Ooh, their dust bags are really soft. I think this is my first Prada bag. I don't think I've ever owned a Prada bag before. Okay. Oh, you guys, look at it. So cute. Look, it's just pink and fuzzy. I don't know why I thought the strap was longer. I didn't try it on in the store. I just ordered it, but it's kind of it's kind of small. I thought the strap was a little bit longer, but that's my fault. I guess I should have tried it on in the store. I just kind of saw it, thought about it, and then I ordered it, but whatever. Let's see how much was it. The bag was $1,200, and it was like $120 with taxes so like i guess in total it was 1300 you guys it's so cute i don't know why i thought the strap was gonna be longer but i guess this is still this is good with the little chanclas okay period i love this this is really really cute looks like this prada and then let's see what the inside looks like just has this stuff in there and then more little cards and then the inside just says Prada, and then it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can even see in there because it's so dark. But there's no pockets or anything inside. It's just like this. It's just basic inside, but it is really, really cute. With these chanclas, you guys. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to take a picture of these or, like, get my nails done and, like, post with them on Instagram or something. I don't know. But this is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. Pink, pink, pink. Okay, you guys. We're getting close to the end here. But since we're on, like, the theme of pink stuff, I did get a pink pair of Christian Louboutin heels from Neiman Marcus. And they are so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with them. Let me open them. I actually haven't even tried them on yet. I should probably try them on. And I am getting my other toe shortened, you guys. I'm going to do that next winter though because the surgery was a lot but i'm not gonna lie if you follow me on instagram i'm always posting like my toe that's shortened so i'm like might as well just do the other one even though it's painful so it basically just came with these two little dust bags that say christian louboutin on them and then it came with this tiny little dust bag i don't know why there's literally nothing inside of it 
And then these heels. Yay! They are so freaking cute, you guys. Look at these freaking heels. Oh, they are so cute. And of course, they have the red bottoms. You already know. They're so freaking cute. I've actually only owned one other pair of Christian Louboutins in my life, which <clears throat> they were used. My friend gave them to me for my birthday a couple years ago, and they were super uncomfortable. They were so cute, but like they hurt my feet so bad. And I was like, no, they're just too uncomfortable. So I don't really wear them. But I feel like these ones are going to be more comfortable just because of the style. They're like open-toed. So I feel like I'll definitely be able to like walk around in these. And they look a lot more comfortable. But this is what they look like. They are so cute. Pink is my favorite color. I know I've said that like a thousand times. But as you guys can tell, pink is my favorite color. And I like that it has like the little rhinestones on it. Like on the side and the back. These are just going to be so freaking hot in the summer, vacations, just, oh, this is like a cute summer vibe, going out, dress, jeans, skirt, whatever. These are it. These are freaking it. I love these. So freaking cute. I'm so excited because I'm like doing my, um, organizing my walk-in closet and I want to have like a section of my walk-in closet where everything's all like my pink stuff. So I'm so excited to have like my pink shelf. That's why I really wanted to get like a pink, like that nude um, Chanel bag that you guys saw that I had, the classic Chanel bag. I was trying to get that in pink, but they did not have it. But they will have it one day, and when they do, I will be getting it. Okay, another pair of shoes that I got from Neiman Marcus. They are these Chanel sneakers. I have been wanting these sneakers forever, and I haven't been able to find them anywhere. So I was so happy. I actually ended up still having to order them, but at least they had them. They're so freaking cute. Let me show you guys. Just open it up. You already know the drill. There's always like a million pieces of paper. Some dust bags. Oh, they smell good. Wait, you guys. These are not the shoes I wanted, once again. I believe the ones I wanted had gold right here. This was gold, not white. This is why I don't like ordering stuff because I feel like they gave me the wrong shoes again. The sneakers that I tried on in the store, this thing was gold, not white. And now it's white. But I tried them on in the store and they didn't have my size so she had to order them. And then they got shipped to the store and then I just picked them up but I didn't open anything because I told myself I wasn't going to open anything until I filmed the video but I kind of bit myself in the butt because now I'm opening stuff and realizing like it's not correct so I think she gave me the wrong shoe because the shoes that I wanted I'm going to try to see if I can find a picture but I believe that this piece of like thing was actually supposed to be gold these are still really cute though I might keep them or I might exchange them and go tomorrow and see if I can't get the ones that I actually want since I'm already going to go to the Chanel store anyways to exchange those sunglasses. But they are still super cute, but they're not the ones I wanted. Okay, note to self, next time I buy anything designer, I need to check that shit right away before I leave the store to make sure I got the correct thing. Because I did go in store and pick them up, even though they were ordered, and I didn't check it. I just picked it up and left, just trusting that they gave me the right thing. Because I didn't want to ruin the boxes, like I wanted to open them for you guys. But note to self, if you ever get anything, make sure you check what you got before you left the store. Because, guys, they're doing me bogus. Okay, I only have three bags left, so I have this Louis Vuitton stuff and then these Tory Burch shoes that I got. So let's start with this Louis Vuitton bag. This is so freaking cute. I actually sold a few of my Louis Vuitton bags like on my Instagram story, and I realized I didn't have any Louis Vuitton bags with like the actual monogram monogram like logo like the classic just like Louis Vuitton brown logo so I was like no I need to get a purse like that and I found the perfect one so this is what it looks like it just has the dust bag and this bag is so freaking cute you guys it is everything when you open it up it looks like this 
How freaking cute, you guys. It just has the monogram everywhere and then it has like the light brown i usually don't like getting the light brown because if you know in time since it's leather it does turn dark but honestly that's what you have to expect with these type of bags and i've just really been wanting one again so it's like whatever i don't care if it gets dark in time it is still so cute so you can just hold it from the handle it also does come with a strap that i'll show you guys but as you can see it has these two pockets in the front so just like Put your little change, gum, AirPods, I don't know, whatever you have in the front. And then there's a little zipper here as well. I don't even know what you could fit in there. And then another little pocket, super cute. The lady at the store was telling me that you could also put the strap around and wear it as like a fanny pack. So I don't know, maybe I could do that as well. And then it just opens up like this on the top. And it is very spacious. This is the strap. I'm obsessed with it. I will put it on and show you guys. But let me just show you the inside first. So it looks like this on the inside. There's a lot of storage in here. There's like this little pocket back here. And then there's also another pocket. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's another pocket right here as well. So it is super spacious. It does open pretty wide. And I do like my purses to have like a decent amount of space. So yeah, it is super freaking cute. Now I'm going to put the strap on. Okay, this is what it looks like with the strap on. And you guys, this strap is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I like that it's not like just a basic strap. It's like this cream color and it says Louis Vuitton on it. It is adjustable. And then it also has like this other little compartment on it that you can put stuff in. I think that's so freaking cute. So it just looks like this. The whole purse is just such a vibe. I love this bag because there are so many different ways that you can wear it. So you can wear it like this, just crossbody with the strap, and then it has like this thing. This can actually come off as well, too, if you don't want to have this on. You just unbuckle it, take it off, and then that's it. You can just have this strap, but it can be worn as a strap. It can be just held by the handle here, or this strap can also be adjusted to be made small like this and can be worn as a fanny pack as well. So this is super cute. Also, you can buy different straps for it if you want like a pink strap, a uh, black strap whatever kind of strap you want you can just buy and add to it so i like that it's like very universal and there's like a lot of different things that you can do with it it is so freaking cute i am obsessed the next thing that i got from the louis vuitton store is actually this little scarf so a while ago i went to hawaii which was a long while ago and i bought two bags while i was out there i bought a black louis vuitton never full it is all black so I bought this bow so I could tie this to the bag because I used to have like the monogram never full and I ended up selling it because I felt like everyone had it. And then I got the all black one. So I did buy this little scarf. It is so freaking cute. So basically I bought this so that I could tie it onto the black bag. This is what the scarf looks like up close. It is super cute. In the store, they had it tied on different purses and it looks cute. You can honestly just tie it onto any purse you want. But I am going to tie it onto my Neverfull bag. And then this is what the other side looks like. So yeah, it's just super cute. And it ties into like a little bow onto the purse. Let me show you the purse. So this is the Neverfull bag that I bought back when I was in Hawaii. It's just an all black Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I ended up buying this one and selling the classic Neverfull because everyone has that one. And basically I just bought this so that I could tie it on to here because I always wear this one when I travel, go to the airport, all that good stuff. And I just feel like since it's all black, I wanted something to like add a pop of color. I'm not going to tie it on here myself because I'm not going to do a good job. But the lady at the store showed me how it looked tied and it looks really cute. So I'm probably just going to have my sister do it for me. But basically I got this scarf to tie onto this bag just to add like a pop of color. So super cute and now the very last thing i got is from the tory birch store i just got two little sandals because it's about to, oh, oh, because it's about to be summer so i just wanted to get sandals for the summertime i'm obsessed with the tory birch sandals i already have like three pairs of them and i just got two more because they're just really cute and comfortable and you know cute summer sandals so i got just these black flip-flops. I did want to get them in pink, but they didn't have pink ones. 
They were all sold out in my size. So I ended up just getting these black flip-flop chanclas because you can never go wrong with just some basic flip-flops. And these are obviously like good quality and everything. And they'll just go with anything that I decide to wear in the summer. And yeah, just wear them with whatever. They're just super cute. They have the little Tory Burch sign. And yeah, just some little flip-flops. And then the last pair of chanclas or like sandals I got are these other Tory Burch ones. These are these nude ones, you guys. I need to hurry up and get that other toe short in because I'm always wearing open-toed stuff. But these are so freaking cute. They're just nude. They can also go with everything. Just some really cute Tory Burch chanclas for the summer, spring, vacation, all that. Super freaking cute, you guys. That's pretty much everything. I'm so happy with everything I got. I'm obsessed. I love it. But yeah, you guys, I am working on my glam room. Maybe I'll show like a little sneak peek of it if I can get it like looking tidy before I post this video. If not, I will have a entire closet tour coming. Not soon, maybe like in a month or so because I still need to order a vanity. I still need to organize all my stuff. But I am really excited to like organize my glam room. I'm probably going to go tomorrow and try to exchange those Chanel shoes and the Chanel sunglasses since I got the wrong items, which is really disappointing. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked my haul of me opening everything and showing you guys. This is probably the last time I'm going to do a haul like this. Like of this big magnitude. I promised myself after this year. I'm not going to really be buying like designer stuff like that. I just wanted to get everything that I've always wanted. So that I can organize my glam room how I want it. And then after that I'm just going to like stop buying designer stuff as much. That's why I kind of went crazy this one last time. But yeah you guys I hope you liked this video. And if you did please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you. You guys I just wanted to give a little update before I post the video. I was able to go to the Chanel store and exchange the sun glasses and get the correct ones so these were the right pair i love them i also did exchange the chanel shoes that they gave me wrong and i ordered the right pair but they won't be in till next week and then i also wanted to show you guys a little update on how my closet's looking so this is a little sneak peek of my closet this is not how it's gonna look by any means but i'm just showing it to you guys as like an update of what i've done so far I'm gonna change things around a lot because I want this section to not have anything except for like black and nude. And I have like a lot of clothes I still have to wash and put in here. But this is just how it's looking so far. But like in a month, I'll probably have it how I actually want it. So just some of my bags. And then I just placed some of the stuff here for now. If you have any ideas, definitely tag me on Instagram. I still have to organize all this big mess and I know I have some more designer stuff in that bag and like some purses I'm going to have to fit. And then right here I am going to order a vanity. So it's going to be like a cute like makeup get ready section. But this is pretty much how it is right now you guys. These are not all my clothes. I still have to wash them. And then I think I'm going to get more of these shelves so that I can fit more chanclas and stuff. But there's still a lot to do.